Alright guys and welcome to the next video. This video is going to be a wee bit different from the rest. I'm going to talk about gaming news for April 2015. Now this month is quite interesting for what's going to be happening. Next week we have a lot of things happening. Next Tuesday we have the release of Mortal Kombat X. Which is the 10th installment in the Mortal Kombat series. It came from NetherRealm Studios, their last project being Injustice, Gods Among Us. All the fatalities have been released for the game. The game's coming out PC, Xbox One and PS4, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Second release we have next Tuesday is GTA V for the PC. This is very highly anticipated within the PC gaming community. We've been waiting 18 months for GTA V. Um, we've been told that we're getting a exclusive Rockstar video editor in game, which is meant to be a big expansion on the video editor that was released with GTA 4. As far as the game goes, we know we're going to be able to customize a lot of things in game. We know there's like 25 different graphics options. And Rockstar have been working very hard to get this game to be well optimized. And from looking at the minimum requirements, it looks like it'll run well on fairly medium setups. It'll run at good frame rates, you know. The game will launch with GTA Online. And you can now preload the files on Steam or through the Rockstar Social Club. And it is 65 gigs. Earlier this week, Square Enix put up a thing on their website. Uh, an image showing a ocean with the letters SAR0101. They said they're working on a new project and they're going to be unveiling what it is April 13th, which will be next Monday. People are speculating that it could possibly be the new Star Ocean game. This would mean that it would be the fifth Star Ocean game in the series. It would be a direct follow-up to the 2009 Star Ocean The Last Hope. That came out for PS3 and Xbox 360. I'm really looking forward to this because I'm a big Star Ocean fan. Although I haven't played through The Last Hope the whole way through. I enjoyed the second game on the PlayStation 1. And my favourite one of all of them is Till the End of Time which is on PlayStation 2. Yesterday we had the announcement trailer for the new Deus Ex game. Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I've got a video on it on my channel. You can go check that out where I do a breakdown, synopsis of the trailer and speculations and things I like to see in the game. On the 21st of April, we're going to see the launch of Killing Floor 2's early access on Steam. PC Gamer have been giving out free keys. You can register and they're doing a draw. I think they're giving away 750,000 keys or something. I put my email in today, uh, it was only for today you could apply for the key, but I put my email in and I'm hopefully going to get a key for that. I haven't played the first game, first game came out in 2009, I heard only good things about it. We know that with the early access for Killing Floor 2, we are going to be having 3 non-linear maps, 27 weapons, 4 per classes, 7 playable characters, we're going to have custom level support using the source SDK mod and we have been told that the game is going to be highly polished at early access so that's going to be very interesting to see and hear reviews on how that's going to turn out for the people that be playing it. Um, as far as reveal trailers go we have seen the Blops 3 teaser well I shouldn't say it's uh, Black Ops 3, but uh, we see 3 in Roman numerals, and we know Treyarch is going to be taking control of the new Call of Duty game this year. And they have a tagline with it saying, hashtag back in black. So everyone's speculating and saying this is going to be Black Ops 3, which I think it is as well. But, you know, we still have to wait, but sure, what odds it's Call of Duty, same shit, different year, you know? Well, that's my opinion, but what else? Train 3, we had a video released today from IGN on Train 3. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I did my first video. Uh, I talked about my top 5 PC games, and I mentioned Train in that. Train 1 and Train 2 were 2D side-scrollers that were puzzle games and had uh, cooperative play. 
with them. Um, I played Train solo. I found it very difficult, but it was a very rewarding and very colourful, nice, light-hearted game. The third Train is made by Frozen Byte Software, and it's going to be, obviously, a 3D game that uh, implements the whole puzzle thing. It'll be the first train game to implement 3D. Uh, with the trailer we see the knight, the mage and the thief interacting with their 3D environments and it seems to fill out the map a whole lot more. It seems to have this kind of uh, very nice polish to it, you know, especially with the likes of the lighthearted music and everything train. It's just a great game to play just to chill out and, you know, sit back and just enjoy, you know, the uh, lovely graphics and the great gameplay. It's almost like that kind of polish you'd get out of a brand new Mario or Nintendo game, you know. Funnily enough, I hadn't heard of this game, but uh, we have another official full release trailer, which is for the game I Am Bread. Now, this game reminds me an awful lot of Goat Simulator, but except you play as a piece of bread through certain different environments and different scenarios within the house and different places within the world, uh, going up against the likes of bins to the likes of chainsaws in the garage. It uh, seems to be a bit of a piss take. It's made by the same developers that made Surgeon Simulator. I definitely think it will be a fun enough game to play. I might check it out you know uh some of the music in the trailer as well was kind of real light-hearted and funny and i thought i thought i thought the trailer was good you know they have this real funny tagline where they're selling the game by saying you've seen a slice of the game now play the full loaf now i thought that was very uh, quirky and very intelligent so i'm definitely on for playing that new in from destructoid we have been told that the rainbow six close alpha is running very very well and people are having high hopes for it uh, Closed Alpha is going on right now. People are saying the classes are very quirky and very balanced. They say the game runs very smooth on PC, thank God, because, you know, we don't we didn't want it to be held back with last generation being, you know, PS3 and Xbox 360 have nothing against the consoles, but, you know, games are moving forward, not backward. They are saying that bullets feel heavy and that the satisfaction of blowing down a wall is always there every time you do it. So, you know, they must be having fun with the game itself. Um, to finish up the video, um, I'm just going to talk about two more announcement trailers. We have a game called No Pineapple Left Behind. Essentially, you play as a principal running a school and a wizard comes into your school and turns all the child students into pineapples and they're running about crazy in the school. I don't know if this is like a political piss take game where people are taking the piss out of the educational system in America because if you watch the trailer that's exactly what it looks like. But anyway, you know, if anybody's looking to check that out, you can check it out. And the last game is Lego Dimensions. Now, uh, I haven't really followed Lego games since Lego Star Wars, but when did Lego take over every bloody franchise? Like... We have been already confirmed for character packs and level packs. We're getting a Back to the Future pack in a level game. So we're getting Marty McFly and Doc Brown. We're also getting a Legolas pack for Lord of the Rings. So, you know, is Lego trying to solely compete with Disney? Or are they going to be the two titans to face off? Because, you know... Disney's bought Marvel and it's taken over the world. Is Lego going to be the same? Um, for anything I mentioned in the video, I am going to post articles and links in the description below for anybody that wants a little bit of light reading to check up on what I've been talking about. You can follow me anytime on Twitter and Facebook at For the Banter NI. Until next time, my friends, goodbye.